Friday, August 17th, it's 14 hours and 53 minutes into the day. Started the day earlier, but the, what happened is, if you've been watching on my Twitter, you'll see that I uploaded a uh, another episode of Big Bang Hero. Uh, I was able to readjust the schedule, so rather than, uh, than uh, joining two uh, episodes together, uh, I was able to upload the separate program, the sep them separately. And everything's all hunky dory because uh, <laughs> we were able to get everything done the way we needed to get it done. Uh, so yeah, those, there's uh, what you'll see is that uh, it, it, as I can, there'll be one er, uh, one upload early in the day and then one upload and later in the day, so uh, people will have a chance to see these. And of course, <coughs> excuse me, people will have a chance to see these. And of course. Uh, there's always a playlist, so you can go back and see a any episodes you think you maybe missed. And uh, th for this one, um, the one I'm working on now, I'm editing uh, yesterday's, uh, the 16th uh, uh, episode. Uh, and I'm trying to put in some transition effects. We'll see how it works out. Uh, I said a lot of things with, with uh, uh, Linux are either hit and miss. And there's a lot of sort of fiddling around, figuring out what to do. Uh, sometimes things work, sometimes things don't work. Even if you have a manual in front of you, sometimes what's in the manual works, and sometimes the man what's in the manual doesn't work. Uh, more often than not, you have to develop your own sort of work around to these different things. So uh, transitions are coming in next. I've got the graphic overlays working, as you can see. Um, so, yeah, that, that takes care of that. Uh, so it's Friday. I didn't get, uh, and this is sort of what happens, is you didn't get what I wanted to get done during the week, everything I had on schedule. But that doesn't necessarily mean I'm sort of behind. I'm behind in certain things, uh, particularly with the website development, uh, moving from the simple website to a web presence. Uh, and I think the thing is, is if you're wondering where projects are, uh, a large chunk of my project depends on depend on the website, and if the website is held back in terms of its redevelopment to the web presence, uh, what ends up happening is that uh, everything else gets held back to a certain degree. So, uh, but yesterday I had a bit of debug work to do on the computer. The issue was uh, it was another it was another also sort of issue to some degree uh, that I had to go through and debug certain things. I got that work done. Uh, I got my computer in a better working condition than it was before, so that's a that's a bonus. Uh, the next thing now is to uh, add in uh, the next project that I'm working on that I've got to sort of get in there is get the Greek, my Greek learning, uh, I'll just sort of get, get a uh, Greek learning system on there so I can teach myself Greek uh, in terms of going from where I am now which is basically a grade 3 level in terms of uh, reading and writing Greek I've got to start now, push myself forward and see how much further I can get uh, you know, in a sort of measured period of time so that being said, uh, we'll see what happens over the weekend. Uh, of course, being the weekend, uh, what happens now is that we are uh, going to have a weekend of cleaning. Uh, more cleaning has to be done. Uh, I have to clean up. I have a 600-foot square warehouse uh, where the machine shop is. 
but for the product that I'm working on, which will bring in, um, uh, is going to behave as a distributor for a store, uh, I need to clear out warehouse space and a shelving space so that the product can come in and be held on the shelf and then be shipped later, shipped out later on. So a large amount of work in the warehouse has to be done now and that's what will be done on the weekend as I'll be doing a lot of cleaning in the warehouse machine shop uh, to get that going. I also have to start work working. <coughs> I also have to start working on the uh, electronics uh, bench. That has to get fixed up and back working again. And it, basically it's all the odds and ends that have to really be, you know, in terms of fixing the place up, that's sort of what has to happen. And I'm going to be bringing in a schedule that I sort of worked on up, up at Mars Alpha. I developed a new schedule of how I'm going to do my work. And I'm going to try to bring in that during the weekend. And what this will allow me to do is if I can get the new schedule in over the weekend, it will allow me per day to get more work done. So it's basically an efficiency thing that uh, it will allow me to get more work done per day than I was before and that will allow me to add in more projects and really sort of able to handle a larger chunk of different uh, things. So, um, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, I am going to be going to church again tonight. Uh, the, 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 this church every night uh, until basically August 28th. So it starts, I, I leave the office at around... Um, around 6.30, I don't get back until about 9.30, 10 o'clock, and, you know, things go from there. Uh, anyway, um, that's it for now. I will see you in the next segment. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, 22 hours and 20 minutes into the day of, uh, Sunday, August 19th, uh, 2012. And this is the first segment of Big Bang Theory RL for the weekend of uh, uh, basically 18 and 17, 18, and 19. So basically Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So August 17th, August 18th, August 9th. It's going to be a one long sort of weekend type of thing. Uh, I'm back into the uh, odd schedule again where things are going to be going further into the night. So uh, you'll see this uh, several days put together. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be adding in a couple new features. These are test features that you will see further on as uh, uh, I'm going to be doing. These features will eventually be in uh, more of the web shows that I'm doing. This is sort of a, a new um, uh, process for me in the way of uh, developing and designing videos that will have embedded in graphics in it. Like the first one that I'm uh, looking at now, uh, you'll see that uh, to my right I have an icon here. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, I've, I go to church a lot. It's kind of like my second house. And um, today, on uh, Sunday, it was uh, something called Metamorphosis or, or the Holy Transfiguration. And that is in the gospel. It's uh, I believe it's Matthew. Uh, let me just pull the reference up here. I found what I was looking for. I was saying uh, the icon to the right is uh, an icon of uh, uh, Metamorphosis. That's the uh, Holy Transfiguration. Uh, if you want to know where it is in the gospel, it's uh, Matthew 17, uh, basically uh, verses 1 to 9. Uh, it's where Christ is on the Mount of Olives, and you have uh, the Prophet Moses and Prophet Elias uh, on either side, and below you have uh, the Apostles uh, Peter, James, and John below. So uh, that was celebrated today, and this is something that, that uh, uh, those of you who, who may not realize or understand that these services, these feasts, which are basically close to 1800 years, 1800, 1800 
plus years old uh, are actually still being celebrated, they're still around, although uh, most Christian churches all you have of the Christian faith, of that, that what was it, what was, what was there 1800 years ago, only small remnants exist still. Uh, in this, in my church, in my, in, which is basically viewed as a house, uh, the fullness of what was there is still there now. So it's like, for myself, it's like stepping, stepping back in time. It's a, it, it fits in perfectly with uh, Byzantine antiquity studies because uh, I can walk into a reality situation where most people simply have a simulation or you know, or they they have, they have to use their imagination sort of figure out what's going on, where you walk into some of these uh, older churches, if they've taken the care, make sure that their services actually accurately represent what was there before, in other words, their lineage is unbroken, uh, then you have the fullness of the feast, the Christian feast, uh, the way they were before they were lost to the Western, to the Western church. Uh, and basically, much of much of the feasts, many of the feasts, have been lost because, as the Western Church evolved, uh, the Western Christianity evolved, it simply did away with all the feasts because they didn't think they didn't think these feasts were necessary. Uh, so you get to the point today where most of these feasts are completely unknown. Uh, one of these feasts that are unknown is the ones that I'm going to every night uh, until August 28th. That is a Chemesis. Chemesis is the, uh, you'll see the icon up there, Chemesis is the, uh, called Falling Asleep of, uh, of Panea. We don't call Panea uh, the Virgin Mary in Greek, we call her Panea, or which means Panea means Pana, means O, all, Pan, all, Aia means holy, right? So Panea means all holy, and it said in Greek, um, if you meet a Peter, uh, sometimes Peter is another. If they're not a Petros, then Peter is not Petros. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a real. It's actually Paniotis. Uh, and you often meet some Greeks who are instead of doing the Paniotis, they'll use uh, pa in English. They'll use Pano. Uh, you'll hear that. This uh, is uh, basically. Uh, what the uh, Italians refer to as Mother Mary or the Mother of God, you know, so there's, there's a number of different uh, uh, ways of calling it, but the, in Greek it's all funny, and they also use the, the term uh, Vespina, and, and there's a whole variety of things where you can see a lot of the Greek names that are used for women and even for some of the guys uh, come out of it. So uh, I'm there every night doing that. Uh, I, said I was in the church this morning and then I was later on in the church at night. And there's always people around that you, you know because everything is sort of like a family type of atmosphere. It's like going to hang out at somebody's house and, and then you come back and then go on with your, with your regular day and that's sort of the way things are now here. And I'm going to probably go until really late tonight, probably about 3 4 o'clock in the morning because things are starting to go in that direction now where uh, I'm having later and later hours, so uh, <laughs> it's all studying. It's all it's all, all part of uh, of what I do on a daily basis. But as I talk to some of my friends who, uh, as other people I know, who have a regular work day, have a regular regular life, uh, they've got nine to five. Their jobs have a lot more. Even though I'm working longer hours, their jobs have a lot more pressure than what I have. Because my life is basically like a, it's like it's like being in school for the rest of your life. Uh, you get to choose whatever projects you want to do, and work, working on in the library, and you work on them as long or as or as short as you want. You can take breaks in between. Uh, if you want to have a nap, you can go have a nap. Uh, you go out to eat whenever you want to go eat. Um, in other words, time is very flexible uh, as compared to if you were at a regular job where the time is not as flexible. And that really sort of becomes the issue is that uh, you're now tied to the clock, you have a boss above you, you have to get X amount of work done during the day, there's always the threat that of being replaced and being fired, uh, and the stress that you experience on a daily basis, even though 
uh, the environment that I'm in, the, the, the research environment that I'm in, does have its stresses and does have its drawbacks, like everything does, it's more along the line of uh, a, a kid having to do homework. That's sort of the anything that's a drawback is my homework, where you really, eh, don't really want to do it, but you have to do it anyways. Uh, the tiredness and the fatigue, the long hours, comes in because you're doing your work, you're, you're sort of putting together this puzzle, you're finding more and more pieces of the puzzle, and you want to keep going until you get a, 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 what, you, what you feel is a satisfactory amount of work done. And that sort of, you know, gives you the uh, length of time. But it's not that bad because if you see me looking up every once in a while, you wonder what I'm looking at as I go in that direction, is that there's a TV right there. So I have my TV on, and I'm watching most of the kids' shows. I watch Family Channel, I watch uh, Disney Channel, I watch uh, Disney XD, uh, YTV, Nickelodeon. I, I, all those shows are basically are my favorite shows. These are the standard shows that I watch. And so basically, uh, I'm a kid who's never grown up, and this is my life now here. My life is to be the infinite kid, the infinite tween, uh, the eternal student, so, <laughs> so to speak. And I'm having a good time with it. There is, there is a, some people understand, other people don't understand. Uh, the number of people I've met who understand, and the number of people I like hanging around with, some of the younger, some of the younger crowd are pretty cool. So, you know, eh, for all the bad that occurs, there's more than enough good that it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me that I'm a geek. It doesn't bother me that uh, I'm a professional student. It doesn't bother me that I've still got my kids that I haven't properly grown up yet. That doesn't bother me because there's enough around that it doesn't have to bother me because there's other things to focus on and pay attention to. Anyway, yeah, that's how things are going. And I'm going to leave this here for now. And if I have anything else to say, I will come back and say uh, uh, it during the, the rest of the day here. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm probably not going to knock off until about 3 o'clock in the morning. So, anyway, take it easy. Professor of what? Professor of Physics. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.